guys. You're not gonna believe where I am right now. I am in Rome, Italy. This has been one of my biggest dreams. Garnet, I gotta thank him for this. This was my Christmas present. Isn't this gorgeous? Right now I'm standing right in front of the Basilica. Isn't this beautiful? I'm gonna try to do some filming locations. Since this is a vacation, I don't wanna spend my whole time pulling up my phone and trying to record everything. Oh, listen to that. But I would love to get some filming locations for you guys. I have a few written down. Um, I don't know whether I would put it into one video or several videos. So you might hear an intro a few times about how I wanted to do this in one video, but you know, either way. Um, I don't know yet how I want to do that, but look at that. All right. <laughs> So this behind me, this is Castillo Ponte San Angelo. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but this castle here was featured in the movie Eat, Pray, Love. You'll see Liz from top and they're showing like an angle of the Basilica. So you get like a beautiful view from up top. Um, this wasn't in our plans to go up there. You do have to pay to get in. So we're not sure if we're gonna go in there, but I just at least wanted to show you guys um, what it looks like. It's gorgeous, as you can see. Yeah, so from up there, I don't know exactly what side she was standing on, but she's up there somewhere, and you can see the view from the Vatican at some point. There is a wonderful old Italian joke about a poor man who goes to church every day and prays before the statue of the Sorry, Queen. Sorry, I we were trying to make it right before the sunset because this is another Eat, Pray, Love location. This is when you see Liz looking out in the city. This is the castle of St. Angelo, I think is what it's called. And um, now it's too dark to get that exact same spot, but I think she was standing right in front of this right here, looking straight out that way because the buildings match. Um, I can try to show you as much as I can, but yeah, we didn't make it right all the time. She would have been standing like right where these people are standing. And you do see these buildings right here. Yeah, she would have been like right here. So, um, actually, let me show you the view on this side since the sun is still kind of setting on this side. It's very beautiful. Like I was saying, I'm pretty sure she was standing over on this side. Darn, I really wish that we would have made it right on time for the sunset. Oh well, I can still see it over here though.
behind me here, this building right here. This is Liz's apartment, Julia Roberts' character in the movie Eat, Pray, Love. Right there, isn't that awesome? Sorry, there we go. There it is, right there. So cool. <laughs> Right now, I'm right in the center of Piazza Navona. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. So in front of this church right here where those people are sitting on that bench, that's where Liz was sitting from Eat, Pray, Love, Julia Roberts' character. She was eating gelato right in front of this church right here. And I was about to sit down and then those two people came and sat. I was like, oh, come on. But yeah, you can see this door, this door. You don't see the window. You definitely see the fence behind them and the stairs, blah, 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 but all that good stuff. And then, like I was saying before, this is also John Wick. But you can see this beautiful fountain here. And then Angels and Demons. I still haven't figured that out or exactly that filmed, but I'm going to look real quick. guys I'm in I'm Liz and eat pray love so right here this is where Liz stops and tries to get some water I guess there was like a water fountain or something placed here I don't know if that was just for the movie some kind of prop or something but there was supposed to be one right here and you can see all these buildings on this side it looked a little different the colors have changed but this is the road that she gets some water and welcome to the Spanish Steps. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so this location was all featured in The Talented Mr. Ripley, Roman Holiday, and To Roam with Love. There might be some other ones I'm missing out on. If I do, rem if I do come across any other ones, I'll write them down. But that's what I, that's all the pictures that I have to show for this location. Isn't this beautiful? So beautiful! <laughs> the talented Mr. Ripley. This is about the angle you see. Gwyneth Paltrow is standing right here. Matt Damon is like right here. You don't see this in the shot and you don't see any of this up here. So it's kind of like, it's crazy because it's really hard to get that shot with my camera, but it's like barely, like right about there. But she's standing literally right in front of this thing right here. So in this area, you have two filming locations. You have the Roman Holiday, and then you also have Angels and Demons. You have an Angels and Demons spot over here, and then over there where you can see that cafe. You can actually see that in the shot. Right, so this is an angle here from Angels and Demons. Still in the same area where 
angels and demons. You see them, the location right here. You turn around and here's another spot right here where you can see this cafe, the background, as well as this building here and all of this. But yeah, that cafe is featured in the movie. Now we're in Piazza of Popolo and as you can see around me, it's a really big area. Beautiful churches back there, but right here behind me, I, I believe a scene from Angels and Demons filmed. I just looked at a picture and you can see Tom Hanks standing in front of this building right here. I don't know if it filmed all around here because it's been a while since I've seen that movie. But for sure, I have a shot of him standing right over here. Um, so, just wanted to show you guys around a little bit. Oh, actually, it also, it could be on this side too. I'm gonna double check which side he's on, but it's the building that looks just like this, which is also on this side. But I think it's more this one. Oh my god, there's this guy singing so loudly. Do you guys hear that? <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, look at this. So pretty. Um, so it could be on either side. I, I have to double check. Just don't forget to check out my Instagram account because I'll be posting all the pictures on there. Oh my god, that guy. <laughs> okay, so today I'm in Florence. We took the train over. And as you can see right behind me, it's the porcelain pig. That statue is featured in the movie Hannibal, uh, 2001 that is, and I can't, we can't figure out how to make the pig, like how make the water come out of his mouth, like there's a way to do it, but I have no idea how, um, anyways, I just wanted to show it to you guys, but it's right there, <laughs> we can't figure it out, I don't know if you have to put a penny in his mouth, or a penny into there, there's like a drain right there. I don't know. I don't. I don't really know how it works, but I don't know. But everyone rubs his nose. I don't really know. I wonder if you can get the water to come out. See, he's put it. Oh, see, you put a. See, it's like a piggy bank. But no water came out. Makes you wonder, like, how does it work? <laughs> what happened? Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. Times the water will come out or not?
so that's the end of the video. Um, let's see, I wanna kinda of talk to you guys for a little bit about, first thing is first, I know that I made a mistake already on my last video when I was saying that in Piazza Navona, they didn't film an angels and demons scene. I mentioned it and then I think I corrected myself. And while I was editing this video, I was looking up the scenes, a couple of scenes from angels and demons. And I saw that there was a scene where there was a man drowning in a fountain or something and Tom Hanks character is pulling him out. So I was like, oops. So I just wanted to mention that because I think I did say that it didn't film there. So yeah, that was at least one mistake that I can remember. Any other mistakes that I made, feel free to let me know. I'll, I'm, I've been reading the comments, but um, that was one thing. And then during the editing also of this video, I mentioned from scratch because I started watching the show before we left on this trip. And then I think I turned it off like halfway through uh, episode one, cause I knew that I wasn't gonna have time to watch it. So last week I started to watch it and I realized, oh my gosh. So I was standing basically in the same spot from episode one and I just didn't remember, you know, that it was Florence. So yeah, I, I try to put, you know, I put a little marker on the bottom letting you guys know that I was in a, also in a filming location from scratch, but that was not in my plans. I totally forgot about that show. Um, and I'm gonna be really upset when I finish the show and I realize that I was in a lot of those filming locations. But either way, it's okay. Um, we had a blast. We only had the day there because um, we had our hotel for the five days in Rome, not in Florence. So we just went there for the day and came back and it was beautiful, we loved it. Um, we definitely wanna go back to Italy. It was absolutely gorgeous. We're thinking Venice and I wanna to go to Positano. So I don't know when we're gonna be able to go, but I'm hoping sometime soon. Um, what else can I tell you guys? Um, yeah, I know a lot of you that are probably from Rome and are watching this video or the night or the one before are probably going to be like, why didn't you do this movie or that movie or wait, you missed something or I only wrote down a few because we wanted to enjoy our time in Rome and I didn't want to spend too much time trying to find locations. I knew that we were going to be hitting some no matter what, because a lot of them were like tourist locations. So I was like, well, that's easy. You know, I could just take a, a little extra time and, you know, record some videos and take some pictures to try to line up my comparison shots. But other than that, I just wanted to enjoy my time, like I said, and I'm glad that I still went ahead and did some filming locations because it's just cool that I've been able to collect so many filming locations from different parts of the world and, to hit up Rome is um, was absolutely absolutely a dream, and I'm really happy about that. So we'll see where this year takes me. Um, I'm hoping that we can go overseas again, um, but we're not sure yet. I actually have one more video from Rome to edit and put out for you guys, and then I have some other stuff coming up. So you guys look out for that. Also, I'm about to hit 4,000 subscribers here on YouTube very soon. So I wanna thank you guys for everything, for all the comments, all the likes, um, for subscribing. Make sure that if you don't, if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to my channel. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, that is Leslie Love Film Locations. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time, all right?